Hi there students, today we are going to deal with nutrition, part 1, and we are going to talk about nutrition, digestion and respiration. First we are going to say the definition of nutrition. Nutrition is a combination of processes which supply our body with the building materials and energy we need to live. We also need the definition of nutrients. They are simple substances we can find in food which provide the building materials and energy our body needs to grow and work. There are different types of nutrients. Carbohydrates provide a fast supply of energy like potatoes or cereals. Fats provide a slower supply of energy like oils and butter. And proteins provide building materials for growth and to repair our body, like meat, fish, milk. Vitamins and minerals are necessary for our body to function properly, like fruit and vegetables. And finally, water transports other nutrients and waste around the body. But how does it work? Digestion. This involves obtaining nutrients from food for our body to use. Digestion takes place in the digestive system. Respiration. This involves obtaining the oxygen we need to live and releasing carbon dioxide. Respiration takes place in the respiratory system. Circulation. This involves transporting nutrients, oxygen and waste products throughout the body. Circulation takes place in the circulatory system. Excretion. This involves eliminating waste produced in our body. Excretion takes place in the excretory system, the respiratory system and the sweat glands. Let's talk about digestion. Digestion is a process of breaking down food into nutrients that our body can use. It normally takes our body 24 to 48 hours to digest food. Digestion takes place in the digestive system. Let's explain the process. First, it begins in the mouth, where our teeth break down food. Well, we too, the food mixes with saliva produced by the salivary glands. This mixture is called a bolus. When we swallow, the bolus is pushed into the pharynx and down to the esophagus. Second, then the bolus reaches the stomach, which produces gastric juices. These juices break down food even further, forming a thick mixture called chyme. Third, the chyme travels to the small intestine, which produces intestinal juices. These juices combine with bile producing the liver and pancreatic juice producing the pancreas. The chyme turns into a milky liquid called chyle. Two more things about digestion. The first one is the absorption of nutrients. Nutrients are absorbed into the blood in the small intestine. And finally the elimination of waste. In the large intestine, water is absorbed and the remaining undigested food parts turn into solid feces. Feces leave the body through the anus. To finish with digestion, here you are a picture of the digestive system, where you are going to see the mouth, the pharynx, esophagus, stomach, the small and the large intestines, and finally the anus. In order to have a healthy diet, we have to eat a healthy breakfast, eat a variety of foods, have several meals throughout the day, eat foods that are high in fiber, and avoid foods that are high in fats and sugar. Let's move on and talk about respiration. Respiration is a process by which we breathe in or inhale to obtain the oxygen our body needs and we breathe out or exhale to expel the carbon dioxide our body produces. Respiration takes place in the respiratory system. This is the process. When we inhale, air enters through the nostrils, goes to the pharynx, then travels down the larynx and the trachea. The trachea is divided into two branches called the bronchi. The bronchi take the air to each lung. Inside the lungs, the bronchi are divided into smaller branches called bronchioles. The bronchioles lead to the air sacs. Here you are, a drawing of the respiratory system, where you can see the nostrils, the pharynx, the larynx, the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles, and the lungs. Inside the lungs, gas exchange takes place. The oxygen in the air we inhale passes from the air sacs into the blood. The blood carries the oxygen to all the cells in our body. The carbon dioxide produced by all the body cells travels through the blood and passes into the air sacs. The air sacs expel the carbon dioxide when we exhale. Finally, some healthy habits. Exercise regularly. Eat a diet that is high in vitamins and minerals. Drink water regularly. Wash your hands regularly. Obviously, do not smoke. And avoid places with high levels of air pollution, especially when exercising. And this is the end of the lesson, students. I hope you liked it and watch it as many times as you need and love your mom and your dad and your teacher. Bye bye. Created using Powtoon.